The lowly torch, one of the first items that many Minecrafters make at the start of their journey. But this simple item has a lot more power than people might think. So today I'm giving you five tips to get the most out of your torch. Number one, use them. This might seem obvious, but it's a mistake that I and many others make. At the start of the game, coal is a precious resource, and journeys into caves can be dangerous. Being the main source of fuel for cooking and smelting, coal and charcoal can be scarce. Though the trouble you'll save by properly lighting your area will more than make up for the early investment as you'll deal with less creepers and mobs in general. And with spawning rules changing to light level 0 in 1.18, torches can get you even more bang for your buck. Number 2. Navigation Exploring caves or even strip mines that you made yourself can be it can be easy to get lost and forget where the exit is located. One trick I use while caving is to place torches on the right side while I go down into the cave. That way when I turn around and leave the cave, I just need to keep the torches on my left side and I'll know where the exit is. You can also mark exits to large caverns with multiple torches to see better at a long distance. There are also many creative ways to mark areas with torches. Just make sure you're consistent so you'll know what the torches mean. Number three, air supply. A trick if you're stuck underwater and you're about to run out of air, torches displace water for a second before they're broken by the water. This allows you to spam them to replenish your air supply in a pinch. Works great in underwater temples where it's easy to collect the torches after they break. Number four, counting blocks. Blocks of the same type rarely have clean edges, so the patterns tend to meld together. This makes it, this makes counting blocks hard at a glance, but by putting down torches, it's easy to measure up blocks. This can be great for building or figuring out how far a water source could irrigate crops. It's four blocks from the source, by the way. Number five, removing liquids. As stated in tip three, torches will displace a liquid block. That means you can remove a block of water or even lava. It can come in handy while exploring if you need to get rid of the source of a pesky water flow without reaching into your inventory for a block. You also don't need to worry about misplacing a block and altering the flow of lava if you're using torches. Bonus tip. A bonus tip for Java users. There are two mods that can really enhance your torches if you use them. First is Optifine. This mod will cause a torch to emit, to emit light even when you have them in your hand. The second is Mini HUD, which gives you an easy to read display of light levels at the current blocks. This makes it easy to get the most out of your torches. That's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Thanks and I'll talk to you later.